is the uh, Kapilkari car park and on kind of a, a bit of a miserable day it wasn't forecast it was forecast to be sunny periods and uh, this is the first time I've uh, since the lockdown I've come into uh, the Snowden area Snowden mountains everyone's got the waterproofs on I was lucky to get a parking spot someone was leaving just as I just as I arrived Okay, this is the Afon Kriwi. It's only about four miles of, of the source, so it's got a bit of where's the car park up there. <laughs> People are arriving, but there's no places for them. Okay, that's where I am now, Capital Curry car park. Now I'm going to uh, go down to the end of that lake there. That just picks up on it. And, uh, and go down on that yellow trail there, across the up on the Higri there, and then go back on the hillside, back to Capel Curry. Oops, maybe I didn't get that right. Yeah, back to Capel Curry. Only a short walk. Uh, okay, now that's a coin-operated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll hold on for the time being. You know, just uh, when you come a few feet from the car park, but I'll just point out that the famous Joe Brown uh, climbing shop. It's uh, it's all ch it's all changed here from the uh, lockdown. Uh, a lot more people here now. There's Mol Shabbat up there. Now there's there's a there's a T junction there for. Uh, Two main roads come together, and uh, I don't know if you can hear me because it's uh, it's breezy today. But I'm hoping the rain holds off. This it was forecast to be sunny, but uh, right now it's well at least 95% cloud cover. Spriggan climbing score still seems to be closed. Whether it'll open up again, I think we guest house. <laughs> I think it needs a paint job. It uh, doesn't look as though it's open. Okay, I'm doing some main road walking here. And, uh, just for a short jaunt distance, about maybe half a mile. That's not the Afan Lidbury. Lidbury. It's the Afan Withering, I think. It's a tributary, but it's actually got more water in it. it uh, leave the main road here and just um, something that very few people do come up to this area visit the old church no longer used but it is uh, uh, I think it's still maintained by the by these uh, organizations or groups that uh, kind of uh, take over the abandoned churches and keeping them some kind of repair That's it. Become a friend of St. Julieta's Church, Capel Currig. Okay. An information board on the on the church. It was um, built probably in the late 15th or early 16th century, known as Currig's Chapel or Capel Currig in or Capel Currig, is it? Yeah, in Welsh. Uh, okay. Yeah, there are some interesting uh, gravestones apparently in this churchyard. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it looks pretty overgrown. I'll have a little wander around. Small up there, 2,850 feet above the sea level, roughly about 2,400 feet above where I'm standing now. There's the church. Um, Okay, I'll see if I can see the, yeah. they're always in peaceful locations, these churches. Yeah, look at this, a little picnic table here. No one really knows it's here, I think, except maybe the friends of the church. I'll just go over here though and see if I can have a look at the river. Yeah, there's Avon Gwirid, I think. Can't quite see the stone bridge. It's a typical old-fashioned Welsh stone bridge. There, 
know where the main road goes over. Okay, the church was locked, but uh, I'll just walk up further up the main road and past the Plassey Brennan uh, National Mountain Centre. Yeah, there's, a, there's the building. It's quite a quite a uh, sizable complex, and. Uh, Okay, this is where I lead the main road. There's no footpath on for most of the way, so care is required. I'll take this footpath down here. Now there's the Snowden Horseshoe Range, range uh, up there. It's Snowden's in cloud, but you can see clearly. Yeah, I've got to take a talk over the... And there's uh, Molsha Bud up there. This is the uh, uh, start of the path that goes up there. Uh, a good slant, but no problem. You can go right to the top. Another one of those uh, maps of the area, local area, and that's what the Snowden Horseshoe looks like on uh, well, when the sun's shining. Huh? So, uh, that's an attractive lake there. Unfortunately, there's no footpath. That would be a really nice walk uh, to the end of this valley, and well, basically go way up to the Penny Pass. Uh, but there is no footpath. Uh, there's the road, of course. But, uh, anyway. Here's the, here's the outlet to the lake, and uh, you can see a nice little, you know, a practice canoe jumping the rapids there. For, uh, well, for beginners, of course. But uh, there's the outlet. Anyway, that's uh, that's that, that's not the Afon uh, Lindor. It's the it's the Gwithrid, Afon Gwithrid. I pronounced that right, but just a short distance down there. The two rivers join and form the Afon Lindri that goes down to, uh, well, Petisakoid. There's the, uh, the, uh, the backside of the, uh, you might say, of the uh, uh, outdoor centre. Quite an extensive place. And I think there's an, I won't go up there, but that goes along the side. It's a wooden walk. It goes about, well, maybe a little over half a mile. And uh, I'll go along here instead. But there's the nice mature tree, trees up there, pine trees. I'll go along here, well, maybe a little over a mile, and then back onto the main road. It would be a pleasant enough walk along here if the sun was shining, but uh, it's been a bit of a washout so far. Uh, well, this summer really, uh, except for the early summer and the spring were uh, uh, excellent weather. There's the uh, another view of the Av Avon Kligui. Here down there with uh, after the Gwirid, the two streams come together. More so more water in it this time. There's a couple of old timers there <laughs> uh, negotiating those steps. Uh, well. okay, there's a Kligui again. And uh, the old timers. I'm an old timer myself, of course. So I've been using these as uh, as paces. The sun came out just briefly there for a. Oh, there are the patches up there. Uh, there's a chligui there again. As you can see, with the two streams joined together, it quickly gains volume. And uh, the source is only well, basically, uh, well. Oh somewhere between five and ten miles away, five and eight. Okay, uh, nice spot. Actually, I've gone a bit too far. There's Molsha Bud up there. The sun's come out. Uh, I've gone a bit too far. Uh, so I'm a slightly longer walk than I expected to do. It might mean a little bit of road walking on the way back. the bridge to uh, onto the main road. And it is the Ligui. Uh, there's a nice pub there, bar entrance. I think I see someone sitting in there. Tinny Coid. But look at this, this is interesting. 
Capital Curry, North Wales, Hollyhead to London. That's how they travelled in the good old days. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would have probably been a coating in. Yeah, move win. Excellent. And behind it, over there, is Molsha Bud. Quite a popular mountain to walk up. Luckily, there's a footpath on the side of this road. They're on the right hand side, anyway. Okay, that's the bridge I meant to cross there. But no problem, it's uh, just a short extension and uh, outreach, uh, uh, canoeing. Canoeing, uh, popular spot. That's the Cobden Hotel over there. It used to be, uh, oh, Cobden was a cricketer, Victorian cricketer. But, um, but it used to be a, in Victorian times, before the age of the motor car, it was popular with the, as, as a base for, for mountain walkers. Yeah, there they are, getting ready to put the canoes in there. Cobden Hotel, I think it's closed uh, because of the, uh, uh, well, the situation. I just had a nice break there though on the uh, that bench to enjoy the, the passing traffic. All right, I'll continue up this road for a while. Cobden Hotel, and uh, this is something when you're driving you just don't see. The uh, nice, nice little uh, view of the rapids here. You can see why it's popular with canoeists. Okay, uh, the wind picked up. Uh, there's the Mole Shabbat Cafe and Car Park. I think there are some. Yeah, there. It is open. There's quite a few cars here. Okay, this is where I leave the uh, the main road. A nice footpath along the side, and go up uh, this side road here. All the years I've been coming up here, uh, I've always, of course, come up here mainly to climb mountains. But now I'm an old timer. I have to take, um, uh, well, uh, much easier routes. So I end up discovering these footpaths that I've. Oh, this is actually a tarmac lane for the time being uh, that I've uh, never uh, walked on before. That uh, track leads up to several cottages. Oops, looks like some more walkers coming. But um, yeah, that's that's a handy signpost there. I could easily miss that footpath this way. See some? That looks like Hercules. Huh. Uh, okay. More interesting, more interesting. Uh, there's Molsha Bard. Snowden over there behind that tree. And uh, okay, carry on going. Okay, the scenery is getting a bit more interesting now. As I gain a little bit of height and coming out into open moorland. This is where I uh, join the main footpath to uh, kind of like a small mountain called Crimpow, and, uh, and also that that track goes over to Clin Craftland over in the Conway towards the Conway Valley. A popular, uh, obviously a popular walking route. And uh, okay, so I descend here back down to Capel Curry. You can see the uh, constructed footpaths here to 
prevent soil erosion. It is a popular footpath, I think. It's from Cap and Curry. It's a pity the sun didn't come out. Just in just very brief patches, the sun came in. There's the Carnid Llewellyn. There's the Carnid, second highest mountain in well England and Wales. Up there, Carnid Llewellyn, nearly three and a half thousand feet above sea level. Okay, I'm coming down into the village of Capel Kirig. Kirig, I should maybe pronounce, not Kirig. And there's the uh, the church that replaced the older church I saw earlier around. There's the, uh, the church that was built uh, in the Victorian times, no longer used as a church. Um, it's used now as a, as a holiday home, believe it or not. I think it's got several units can accommodate several several families. And the sun now has come now I'm ending this walk, the sun's starting to come out more often. Kirig's church, and there's the the war memorial, <laughs> somewhat faded. Uh, now over there is um, looks like Joe Brown the famous climber has expanded his commercial premises. He did have a shop round the back, but now uh, he's, he's expanded quite a bit. Unfortunately, with the uh, with the pandemic, he's uh, like all businesses probably probably been hit pretty hard. Okay, nothing coming. Just looking through the entrance social distancing uh, hand sanitizer but they're, they're, that's what Snowden looks like the Snowden horseshoe that's the famous Crib Gough Ridge yeah it's an excellent uh, part of the famous uh, Snowden horseshoe I believe it is uh, I might be wrong there yeah that might be Sc Scotland yeah okay yeah, look at that, the, the walk's ended, but uh, the sun's starting to come out more often.